Hey guys, Kulik is starting to remove the grass from her greenhouse. Check that out. So a lot of people have been asking questions and saying, why are you removing the grass from the greenhouse? Well, Kulika? Yeah, um, my, lots of my friends are saying that. And even my own mother is asking, why, why are you doing that? Why wouldn't you just dig it all in or rototill or, right. or whatever? Because it's good, uh, like as you can see, it's good, uh, like uh, peat mossy, good nutritious uh, soil. So I'm going to remove all this and then there is just clean sand underneath. <laughs> Wonder what that mumbling sound is in the background is the pup enjoying the grass. <laughs> it's nicely cut. Here's one of the biggest reasons why she's removing that grass. Show them. Yeah, because uh, I'm finding all kinds of treasures from this uh, top layer of the soil, like a uh, barbed wire. It Look has at that. been old. Uh, yeah, this is very unfriendly. So how do you rototill something like this in? Uh, not to mention mention some pieces of plastic even and then broken glass and uh, and lots of huge nails. Rusty nails, like, uh, looks like uh, maybe they have had some kind of barn built because the soil is really yeah. good and rich. They probably had barn here at some point. Yeah. So I'm removing all this uh, suspicious crap up to the clean so uh, clean sand. And then I'm going to build my own uh, <laughs> garden so, yeah, soil on top of it. You want all this grass out because of that, right? Yeah, because uh, I don't know what's in it. Because it has been, we don't know. We, we are not the first owner. It's not the pristine land that we bought. So there have been some farm sites here. Yeah, who knows what's been here. who knows what's been here before. So, um, yeah, so I just don't want uh, any uh, suspic suspicious uh, matter under my garden soil. So, so I you want, want it nice and clean, right? Yeah, I want it nice and clean. I want to make sure that I can uh, work the soil with my hands and I don't poke myself uh, with anything. And it's just, uh, I want, uh, that's what I yeah. want. So. So guys, while we're out here, let's take a look at uh, some of the things that are growing in the, in the other area there, her garden. Let's go have a look. Before Kulika takes you to her garden area, let's look at the flower bed here. She worked hard last fall to put these beautiful flowers. Look at those tulips, aren't they nice? There's some more. What do we have here, Kulika? <laughs> Daffodils. Nice daffodils, yeah. yeah. I love those. Actually, when I planted all these bulbs last fall, it was way too late. They should have been planted much earlier. And I didn't really get the chance to uh, prepare the, the bed very very well. And like, look at that end here. There's, there isn't really much of anything growing here. Actually, I planted the bulbs here too, but uh, this end of the uh, bed was actually way too low. So they the water just, here, yeah. yeah the water was sitting here way too long in spring when the snow melted and uh, and they died. Now if you look on the other side of the fence you can <laughs> see it's like some moon landscape there. It's all like all these uh, the grass uh, bricks that I took from the garden I threw over there. How to level all this ground. And then there are these ditches I dug because I tried yeah. to when I, realized the that, water away, yeah. when I realized that my bulbs are suffocating here just drowning. I, I, <laughs> dug play those later, Cassie. I dug those ditches in attempts to guide the water away, but I think it was too late already. Isn't that beautiful? So I'm in my garden now. There's Dennis playing uh, ball with Cassie. <laughs> good pup. She loves those games. Good pup. <laughs> She's really good at catching balls. Okay, so as you see, there is tall fence around. So that's to keep deer out. I don't want uh, any deer in my garden. So as you can see, I removed all the <laughs> grass here from my garden too. So there is just clean sand. So now we're going to put peat moss here and uh, I want to plant uh, raised uh, beds, vegetable beds. I haven't got to it yet. And here is my strawberry bed. There is strawberries and uh, garlics here nicely coming up. And here's raspberries next to the strawberries. And there, uh, that little raised, uh, like a framed uh, little patch there, that's where I planted potatoes. I can't really see much of anything coming up from there. I planted them over two weeks ago, so I might have to get some more potato seeds. Because uh, these seeds actually were sitting at room temperature way too long before I got them planted. So I think uh, they might be, they were kind of wrinkly and dried up uh, by the time I got them planted. So I might have to get the new ones. And here I have all kinds of different uh, uh, 
dif different bushes and uh, shrubs. I have a uh, husk up, um, uh, rhubarb, uh, some black currants, red currants, uh, uh, blackberries, and here I have uh, cherries uh, and uh, sea buckthorn. Those ones there are sea buckthorns. And then I planted uh, those here just another day. I even forgot what they were. They were. Oh, these are uh, these are actually goji berries. I don't know how these will grow here in this climate, but since they're very healthy berries, I want to try. Let's see what happens. And aronia berry over there. Yeah, so. You, I'm sure you would say these uh, bushes are here way too close to each other, but I just did not have more uh, soil prepared yet, so I just uh, put them here right now. And I actually want to remove all this grass from this whole garden area. And once I get this done, then I'm going to uh, organize and plant this full garden better and, uh, and replant those uh, bushes too. And here I have some apple trees I bought from the nursery. I just uh, put them in pots right now because I uh, uh, don't have really prepared uh, spots for them yet. So guys, that's why she's removing all that grass. <laughs> you you know a little bit more why. Some of you might have already known that from last fall, but now you know. That's why she's removing the grass. And this grass actually all goes to good use because we have a lower spot here. Like we're going to just fill uh, Using areas it, yeah. that are lower. So we wanted to bring this high up anyways because we don't want water to accumulate here. And uh, over there behind the fence, uh, it's actually because the previous owners had horses and it's, the ground yeah. is just full of holes. So we're going to use these for filling those holes and make the uh, ground nice and level. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed watching the video. So I just wanted to fill you in uh, what I'm doing and how the garden is going. So and if you're new to this channel, please subscribe to us and click on that uh, notification bell. So you get notified when I upload new videos. So thanks for watching and uh, see you later.